Let's take a look at XLM and do some price analysis. So hello and welcome to Operation Crypto and welcome to a new video. First up, please make sure you do hit that like button and that you are subscribed to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Stellar Lumens, going to do some price analysis. First, we'll check over some um, key stats first. But I just want to show you this chat that I started with last time. Last time I did some price analysis was around a week and a half, 10 days ago when we're trading around here. And I said, look for some potential areas to invest. Usually I invest at the 618 level, but that was down here somewhere. And I did say probably the lowest we would potentially go is this weekly support down at 14 cent. We have wicked down into that yesterday and we've shot back up. So it is looking fairly bullish at the minute. Um, and I do think that if you manage to pick some orders up around there, then uh, I think you're doing really, really well, to be honest. So let's get started first. We'll have a look at some key statistics on coin market cap. Well, we was going to use CoinMarketCap, but for some reason it's fucked again. So we're going to use CoinGecko. I just do want to know some of the key stats. So as we do know, Stellar is ticker XLM. Coin price today is at around 17 cent. We have 0 0.173324 dollars. We're 18% up. It's showing in today's trading, which is a big move, to be honest. We're currently ranked 11 out of all cryptocurrencies. Out of circulation, we have 21.7 billion. We have a total supply of around 50 billion coins. Currently, we're getting a 24-hour volume of pretty much slightly under a billion dollars. It's $991 million. And our market cap today is $3.7 billion. If we just look at the market, see where we're trading the most, and where, where you can pick some up, so as you can see, Binance, um, Upbit, HBTC. I mean, Binance is getting 10% of the entire market volume um, via Tether. So that is a fair old chunk there. If you just scroll down, uh, we have at least 100 recognized pairs there. So if you're looking to get hold of some XLM, it is fairly simple. One major point I just want to target and look at here is the all-time highs. And that was there. 3rd of January 2018, it was $0.87. Cent. We are currently at 80% down from um, them all-time highs. But I do think they will be broke at some point in the near future. Hopefully, 2021 is going to be a solid year for altcoins and crypto in general. So hopefully, that can um, push us up towards all-time highs. Not just on XLM, but just on um, pretty much all of the projects. Just to, Also, just to make you aware of that. That was pretty much the day when all altcoins, which was around back then, hit raw time highs. Some obviously of it make different periods of the, um, the time, but obviously it wasn't around then. So that is a key stats. We'll jump over to trading view now and have a look at some TA. Here we have Stellar versus Tether on the daily chart. I'm using the hit BTC chart here as a lot more data than the Binance chart. I do do most of my trading um, and my investing over on Binance and spot trading and things like that, but um, hit BTC has the most data. So like I say, just at the beginning of the video, last time I did some price analysis, it was around here. Uh, I did the video because I saw these two candles. I thought, wow, we need to jump on this and do some analysis. And as always, things that shoot up, will not keep going they obviously have to retrace at some points and it is good for a retracement it's good if you have if you've missed this boat uh, and then it's coming right down it's a good area to invest so i did say that potentially this was well this was the initial target if we did lose that monthly level then we had the weaker level down here at, at 14.3 cents so that was a good area to buy in if we just look at the um the fibonacci first because i think that will lower um i usually if i'm trading um i target the fibonacci to enter yeah, and that will weigh down here. I didn't think we were going to get there, to be honest. I mean, the potential is we form a downtrend. I mean, if you look at this, I mean, you could say we are forming a downtrend slightly. Um, but, I mean, I'm not a massive fan of trends, really. But trend line, should I say. I am a fan of trends, but just not trend lines. Sometimes you fucking get waked up because you could really say that was a trend. Um, and then it broke through. So, I mean... You could say we are flipping bullish if you want to look at it that way, but we'll delete that. So that was a potential area to invest, but I I did think we we wouldn't lose this level, and we didn't. We we crashed through it, but we actually picked back up. So that is um, where we should have invested. Now we are pushing up. It's been a good twenty four hours for XLM. It has started to push back up, and really what we need to do is consider targets now because I think we're going to remain bullish. If we just put a hitman on a second. Yeah, we are still bullish. So Hitman works out when there's a shift in market momentum. We are currently bullish in 16th of October. And I do think that this is just for starters. I do think that we are going to push up. December is notoriously, well, historically, should I say, a, a great month for um, for altcoins. 
Bitcoin should hopefully go sideways now what we're currently trading on Bitcoin. 18,400. I'm happy for Bitcoin to stay in this range. If you just look at chat, I put this on on the 26th of November. I'm happy for Bitcoin to stay here. Use the um, daily and weekly resistance here as support and just keep bouncing down here and give alts a bit of breathing space for them to push on. So that's what I want to happen with Bitcoin and with regards to that, alts will push. So what we need to do is just look at... I think this area is gone now. I think our investment opportunity is gone. The next investment opportunity would be around here. Potentially it's a drop. Um, this is bullish. If I, I'm going to put a bearish now in a bit. But this, if we do come down to here, we are still in a bullish phase. Um, as you can see, we're just dropping down a little bit. Next target, so we do need to close a daily candle above 19.4 cents. Once we do close above that, we can then target this weekly resistance at 23 cent. We've already been up there and we rejected quite heavily off it. Uh, come back down, dropped all the way down to this monthly support at 16 cent. That was quite a big move. If you look at it as a price price range from that wick there all the way down to the lows, we did drop 37 cents. So it is just to be made aware that crypto is volatile and if you're buying up here do not sell down here because it will bounce back as you can see it did there it bounced back from there pretty much all the way up so i've had a few people in my telegram group or uh, even just in crypto in general on twitter saying oh um i sold um i bought yesterday and i sold today when why are you selling when it's down you need to pretty much control them emotions so in regards to xlm we do need to target 19 cent once we close the daily body above there the next target is 23 cent once we close above that, then it's quite a long way up. I mean, 30 cent is a major hurdle. I don't think I've got any other levels. Yeah. I think once we get up to these levels and start pushing up, I will do some further analysis. So a daily candle closure above 23 cent, and I will do a video uh, and then highlight some other levels. If we just zoom right out, we're going to have other levels up there to target. I've not got any on. There may not be some monthly levels, but we're definitely going to be some weekly and daily and even 12 hour levels to target. So that is the next plan of action. Close a daily candle above here, target 30 cent. And then once we hit that, I'll do some further analysis. That is a bearish, um, the bullish um, TA. If we just look at this in a bearish sentiment, this could still, I know, like I said, we got a bit of a, a downtrend here. It could have been there, so we could have broke that downtrend and we could have broke out. But if the downtrend is there, then you could look at potentially putting some orders in again at 14 cents. And if we do lose that level, we're going to either come down to the six v Fibonacci level. If we just put that on from the bottom again. Potential is to come down here to 12 cents or weekly support at 11 cents. But personally, I can't see it. I think we are bullish and I think that... If you manipulate that to say it were there, then I do think that we have actually broke that and we should start pushing on. So that is XLM against dollar where you should potentially target to buy in here, but monitor it. And if it does drop, then buy here. Um, <laughs> but just monitor it again, dollar cost average down if required. And then these are the targets to go forward here at 30 cent. 30 cent is a major hurdle for me. Once we get above that monthly resistance, I think it's all guns blazing. So that's... Um, Tether. If you do trade in um, BTC, let's just have a quick look at the BTC chart and have a look at some prices. I do not have any um, support and resistance levels marked up, but as you can see, it's a very, very similar chart. If we just um, put a Fibonacci on from the bottom of this move up to the top, as you can see, we we're close to a 61% retracement there. And what we need to happen, like I said near the beginning, is we need Bitcoin to go sideways. The longer Bitcoin Bitcoin goes sideways and the higher that we can push up on Bitcoin. So I think that potentially we could get some buys at 754 sats. Other than that, then we've got to target these next levels for um for sell points if you're on a trade or if you're taking profit on the way up. But uh, that is I'm not gonna do in too much TA for that because personally I'm not going to um any support and visions levels marked up which I go for and um I don't trade in BTC personally, so that's just a little bit on that. That is um, the USDT chat finished, just so you want to check over it. So I think that will do it for today's video. That is just a, a bearish and a bullish scenario where you could potentially invest. This could be a good area, in my opinion. We've, I don't think we're going to come back down here, but if we do, then... Um of shit out aren't I? so i think that will do it for today's video thanks so much for watching and um, please make sure you do like this video and subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you next time